All right, what's happening, crew? Back with the YT Izzo. So I've talked a little bit about the upgrades that I was gonna do with the 36. So you can see we have the Fox 36 on the bike. So now <clears throat> I had a little time on it at the clinic this weekend. It, it felt better when I was jumping it, but we're gonna go hit South Mountain now and see how much better it performs on some chunky stuff. So I rode this bike when I first got it out there. So we'll hit some of that same stuff so we'll get a solid back-to-back -back comparison. Are you ready? It's that, that is a life, bro. Live on cage. So we'll pedal up the road, fire road a little bit. We'll hit Beverly, East Loop, Swoop. Something I rode last time with the 34 on. So give me a little decent little cross section for comparison. Some fun, fast sections, some cool little double ups, some chunk, all the things. So one of the first things, obviously, going from 130 to 150 is, you know, it feels a little bit slacker, but it's not bad. It actually feels good. The bike, not super slack to begin with, so I wasn't concerned that running the 150 would make it feel awkward because Rob had the 160 on his, so. The way it's set up right now, feels good. Got a 2.6 Butcher up front 2-3 butcher on the rear with the xc cross uh, xc kush core so it certainly feels burly with that tire up front so i'm i'm excited i think it'll just open it up a little bit more um, everything about the bike so far has been great just that fork some really really harsh bottoms out bottom outs and i get it it's just I don't think it's designed for me and the way I ride. So it'll be good to check this out, see what it can do. bit into the ride and I can definitely say it's better it's cool because you can load in I was telling Mason I'm a little bit more comfortable with my riding style of really pushing in and loading into stuff and popping off the 34 it just it didn't have the support so this makes it feel much better much more trail worthy for me and again that's not to say that the 34 is not legit so um, we all we went all the way through the travel running 92 pounds in this thing with three volume reducers. So I'm gonna roll in two clicks of high speed and one of low. We're gonna rip this 
East Loop Swoop, which is fun, fast. This is really my style. You know, it's just, it's rolling. There's little tiny force multipliers, little rocks that you can kind of bounce off and I dig it. So we'll get some high speed footage and uh, hopefully it gets even more fun. Box 36 install on the ISO test ride complete. That's it. Thumbs up. Works good. Works really good. Takes a good bike and makes it way better for me or somebody like me who's heavy, rides hard, wants to really pop and jib off stuff. I think it's the way to go. Normally I'll walk in over there, but I'm thinking I just need to go. Oh, 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 God, dude, this is so cold. 